Man, I am productive tonight. Actually, I'm just avoiding editing a classmate's paper. Which I have had like five days to edit. But, you know, might as well make some videos. So this is actually going to be the uh, third casual story time. Because why not? And, um, this one has maybe three stories, but they're also maybe not all stories. So the first one is about glasses. So I went to the ophthalmologist uh, last week, I guess, and uh, apparently when they show like four lines, if you can't read all four perfectly, you need glasses. This is something I didn't really know. Now the dude was like, uh, read this little thing to go see if you're nearsighted or whatever the one is where you need reading glasses. Hold it as close as you usually hold your computer. So I'm holding it like out here with my arms completely stretched out, which is an exaggeration by far. And I immediately jumped to the bottom text, which is like eight point times New Roman singular. And I just bam. So clearly I don't need reading glasses because that's how small I actually like write even, but whatever. And so I need glasses, I guess. And I apparently have an astigmatism, so the floor looked like this. So they gave me a starter's prep? What? A learning prescription? Because apparently I have to know how to perceive things with glasses before I can jump to my actual prescription. I don't know. But so I was told this story by a friend and I told it to the ophthalmologist, who then had to, like, didn't actually really believe me necessarily when I said I couldn't read things. But eventually he was like, well, she'd be, because uh, uh, he assumes I'm a she, because I have breasts. So the ophthalmologist is like, well, um, you would be faking it more if you didn't need them. But anyway, this is the story of my friend. So my friend went to a different elementary school than I did. And at her elementary school, it was cool to have glasses and braces. Not glasses or braces, but both. And not neither, but both. So uh, you can't really fake needing braces. Like your orthodontist is gonna look at your mouth and be like, your teeth are crooked or your teeth are straight. And you're either gonna need them or not based on that. But what you can fake is needing glasses. So my good friend goes uh, to the ophthalmologist because apparently kids usually go side eyes my parents. Um, and so she sits there and she intentionally bombs it. Like it's abysmal. The, or the ophthalmologist is like, how are you functioning when you can't see this? Like, how are you coping as well as you are? So she gets a pretty heavy prescription and she goes to school and wears these glasses. And she's cooler, but it's still not cool if you don't also have braces. It's just cooler. So, but she can't see anything because she's wearing an actual prescription when she doesn't need one. And so eventually she has to stop wearing them. She realizes this and she tells her parents and her mom's like, I guess you grew out of it. And it turns out that like by the time she gets to sixth grade, she does need braces, but not glasses. So she's never cool because of that. But she's a cool person all the time. So the um, next story I'm going to tell is uh, about being sick and it's a very short story. It's like, what do I do on a sick day? I lie in my bed all day, which is what I did today. And I usually can't breathe. And I drink a lot of water and I go downstairs and I eat a lot of weird food. If there's cake, I will eat cake. If there's like seafood, I will eat seafood. If there is a sandwich, I will religiously avoid the sandwich because that's what I eat when I'm healthy. I spend a lot of time in the bathtub under the excuse of, oh, it steam and my lungs and soaking for five hours when really I just like being in the water 
in the warm, warm water away from society. My final story that I have on this casual story time list, so maybe my final story of the series ever, is um, about hair length. So maybe around this time. No. some point, I... This hair right here used to be as long as this. And then one day, fairly recently, I just took some scissors and I cut it. My mom didn't notice. And then, this was in like May, I think. And then I cut back here short. And you couldn't see it unless I had my hair like, like this. And then you can see it. But so one day I must have had my hair like that. Maybe my mom was coming to check on me while I was sleeping, whatever. And she freaked out and she was like, what are you doing? Your hair's going to grow in brown. Why have you shaved your head? Whatever. And I was like, you're overreacting. But I was like, it, it was hot in Guatemala. It was either this or like have totally short hair everywhere. She seemed to buy that. And like hair grows back. Uh, but I cut it really short, uh, as, like, a sort of reminder to myself of my non-binariness to use at school, really, where I'm aggressively read as a girl all the time, and it was my little, like, self-acknowledgement, and, um, it was a really powerful thing. And now it's, like, grind back, whatever. I kind of want to cut it just this little bit that short again but I also decided that I really like this hair length it looks like I have bangs but whatever I really like this hair length and uh when I get older and shave off all my hair that maybe this is the length I want to keep it at who knows who knows but yeah that's why I have that there instead of like a whole set of bangs or none at all and so yeah, that's uh, that's my story. I'm gonna go edit this kid's uh, theology paper. Hopefully, by the time you see this, he has it back. And yeah, was this video informative? Leave a like. Was it inflammatory? Leave a comment. Was it intriguing? Subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter or Tumblr using the hashtag #AskAzariah as or the direct messaging system, and I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great day.